Elsie's Chinese New Year, Chapter One: Getting Ready. Hi, I'm Chelsea. My family is getting ready for a big holiday. It's called Chinese New Year. Dad says it's China's most important holiday. Some people celebrate it in the United States too, like me. We sure are busy right now. We're cleaning last year's bad luck out of our house. Then we're going to buy new red clothes. Dad says red is for good luck. People in China have celebrated Chinese New Year for thousands of years. In that country, people call it Spring Festival. Lunar New Year is another name for the holiday. Chapter two. Late at night, we've worked hard to get ready. Now it's the night before Chinese New Year. Even kids get to stay up really late tonight. Last year I fell asleep too early. This year I want to stay awake for all the fun. The date for Chinese New Year changes every year. It's based on an old Chinese calendar. It always starts at a time of month when we cannot see the moon from the earth. The holiday always takes place in January or February. We're at my grandparents' house for this big night. There are uncles, aunts, and cousins everywhere. We talk and play games. All of this laughing helps me keep my eyes open. Family is the most important part of Chinese New Year. Some families also honor the gods and their ancestors. Ancestors are family members from long ago. Some people show honor by praying. Some people put out offerings of food. We have a big feast. There's fish and lots of other food. Then everybody makes dumplings. They're like little cooked pillows with yummy stuff inside. I can't wait to eat them at midnight. Some families make sure to leave some fish leftovers. They believe they will then have extra food in the new year. Boom! Ah, firecracker snap! Fireworks light the sky. It's midnight. Chinese New Year is here, and I'm still awake. People tell different stories about how Chinese New Year started. One story tells of a monster named Nian. Nian showed up at New Year's time, but people learned how to scare Nian away. The monster was afraid of loud noises and the color red. Chapter three, still more fun. I finally fall asleep. In the morning, mom and dad give me a red envelope. Money falls out when I open it up. Chinese Chinese New Year really is a lucky time. Children often receive red envelopes during Chinese New Year. The envelopes come from grown-up relatives, family, friends, or neighbors. Chinese New Year doesn't stop after one day. We keep celebrating. We wear our new clothes. We take presents to friends and family. We try to be very good. This starts the year out right. Chinese New Year used to be fifteen days long. Some people no longer celebrate that whole time, but many people still still celebrate for several days. Chapter four: Parade. Chinese New Year ends with a big parade. My favorite part is the dragon. Dad says dragons are lucky too. I guess Chinese New Year is finally over, but I have enough luck to last until next year. Many Chinese men moved to California in the mid 1800s. They brought the Chinese New Year celebration to California. In modern times, the city of San Francisco has a big Chinese New Year parade each year. The parade's dragon is over two hundred feet. Long.